ஹலோ கிளாஸ் வெல்கம் டு கனெக்டட் ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு டுடேஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அ வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டாபிக் டுடே த நேம் ஆஃப் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் இஸ் டியூன் அப் ஓ டீன்ஸ் In this chapter, we will read about a thoughtful seminar that gives insightful details regarding all the doubts a teen might have regarding studies. The answers might also help you improve your way of life. Exam preparation and proper diet are also discussed in detail. So, tune up first for reading this chapter, teens. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. We are going to learn a very interesting topic today. The name of today's topic is Tune Up or Teens. In this chapter, we will read about a thoughtful seminar that gives insightful details regarding all the doubts a teen might have regarding studies. The answers might also help you improve your way of life. Exam preparation and proper diet are also discussed in detail. So, tune up first for reading this chapter, teens. Students, let's begin reading now. anchor good morning everybody on behalf of anand vihar school i anuj bhat the coordinator of the career and counseling cell welcome you all to this seminar bring out your best to counsel the students and their parents we are happy to have with us on the panel dr nazir mansuri a practicing clinical psychologist dr mrs sheelat a prominent educationist in gujarat dr manju shroff a well known dietitian and professor ray mckee who is online from university of edinburgh would take your questions and solve your queries on study habits and preparing for the exams may i request the principal of the school mr sudhir shah to introduce and welcome the guest mr shah honorable dignitaries on the dais parents and students good morning to all present here Though it's winter now, many parents and students might be perspiring with the thought of exams approaching in March. It is absurd that unanswered questions of the students and expectations of the parents not only lead to stress but also create apathy and boredom for studies. The purpose of this seminar is to guide parents and students and come out with possible do's and don'ts during studies and exams. I am indeed happy to welcome Dr. Nazir Mansuri. a practicing clinical psychologist from vadodara dr mansuri has been associated with lotus group of schools for 13 years and helps hundreds of students and parents every year now let's move on to the next paragraphs and understand the conversation mr shah dr mrs shailath is an eminent educationist author and teacher trainer and we are indeed fortunate to have her as one of the academic advisors to our school It's truly said that special activities demand special food habits. There is a growing concern over what we eat these days. Many of you would doubt what food habits has to do with the study habits and performance in the exams. You will come to know some interesting facts while interacting with Dr. Manju Shoff, a well-known dietitian. In today's globalized world, distance is hardly a barrier in communication. We have Professor Ray Mackey online from University of Edinburgh who may bring in his international experience working with students and parents i welcome you all and without any further delay i now invite students and parents to raise questions a boy hello sir i am bharat from standard 10th my question is to dr mansuri i read almost 6 hours a day in spite of this i hardly remember anything at the end of the day Even my mom gives me brain tonic regularly but how can i improve my retention Dr Mansuri Bharat though you have raised this question you are not the only one who faces this problem i am sure there are many here who might be having the same question tell me how many of you have the same question many hands go up all right have you heard of the chinese proverb I hear and I forget I see and I remember and I do and I understand Bharat I don't understand that 
Just tell me what should I do so that I don't forget. Dr. Mansuri See, there is no fixed method of improving retention. However, you need to identify the way in which you learn. Let me clarify it. There are different learning styles. You learn by listening, writing, drawing flowcharts and diagrams, by discussing, by reflective thinking and so on. You need to identify which style suits you the best for different subjects. For example, to write an essay, you brainstorm ideas and create a web, followed by arranging the ideas logically and constructing meaningful sentences. By doing so, you are adopting more than one style of learning that helps to remember for a longer duration. That will help you in improving retention. And Bharat, now stop taking brain tonics. They simply do not work anyways. Bharat, wow, that sounds great. I wasn't aware of it. Thank you, sir. A lady. Hello, Dr. Mrs. Sheelath. I am Mrs. Viraj Trivedi and my son Shalin is in Standard 9. He spends too much time playing games and watching TV and because of that his study suffers. What would you advise him at this juncture? Dr. Mrs. Shilath Is your son present here? Mrs. Trivedi points to her son sitting next to her. Well, it's quite normal at this age for students to get tempted to play and watch TV. However, there should be a time limit for the same. What I personally feel is, total avoidance of games and TV is not the solution. In fact, that is cruel and unnatural. Rather, parents should make sure that there is a balance between study and play hours. Games, music and entertainment are quite essential for physical and mental health. They help reduce stress. A lady. Hello everyone. I am Mrs. Suhani Mehta. I am not sure whom to ask this question. I am facing a different problem. My daughter seems to be enjoying her studies but hardly shares anything on what happens at school and her studies. As parents, we try to ask her so many times but she avoids discussing the school at home. Anuj, I think we should consult Dr. Mackey as he must have faced similar questions from British parents back home. Dr. Mackey. Thank you, Anuj. I hope I am audible over there. And yes, I like this question. If sharing is missing, both children and parents are responsible. Sharing is glue that binds a family together. Generally, adolescents at this age find it uncomfortable to share all details related to their lives. As parents, we must consider this and decide our response to their sharing. Our negative response and preaching discourage children. However, children must read the intentions of their parents. Not sharing anything may lead to serious problems. Anuj Thank you Dr. Maki for your valuable time. Dr. Maki It's always a pleasure to interact with students and parents. Anuj, my best wishes to the students. Have a bright future ahead. Anuj Next question from the students now. Student 1. Sir, maybe I am feeling hungry right now because my parents don't allow me to eat what I enjoy. Anuj, I think this question is obviously for the dietitian. Dear, can you tell us what you enjoy eating most? And tell your name also. Student 1. My name is Priyanshi. And oh, madam, I love pizza with double cheese. Die for Davili with butter or cheese. Dream for burger. My favorite pastime is crunchy wafers with cold drinks. But my mom serves me hospital khana. Is there any relation between studies and the food I ate? I really want her. We have almost come to the end of this conversation. Let's read the last few stanzas and finish it. Dr. Shroff Priyanshi, you look really foody. I like your spontaneity, dear. Yes, there is a direct relationship between the food you eat and the activities of your brain via metabolism. Heavy food directs the blood flow to the digestive system, resulting in slowing down the brain activity. You must have felt sleepy, lazy and drowsy after eating heavy meals. Doesn't this affect your studies? 
ultimately you require an active brain for studies rather than going for fatty foods i prefer to take light and easy to digest food with enough soup juice dal milk chaash or lassi etc eat raw vegetables and fruits a lot do not overeat it's not good for health in the long run remember the student who eats light becomes bright student 2 Hello Dr Mansuri sir I am Kandarp I read somewhere tune up yourself for the board exam could you explain what it means Dr Mansuri dear you seem to be in 10th or 12th tune up refers to preparing your mind and body for a particular task when it comes to tuning up for an examination you need to know how your body and mind work in harmony You should identify your strengths and weaknesses in the first place. Observe yourself for a week or two. Always remember that your strengths are your assets. Do not think much about your weaknesses. It is your strengths that will help you cope up with the exams. Secondly, your body and mind are tuned up to the school timetable before you receive the board exam schedule. Once you receive the board exam schedule prepare a new timetable based on your energy level identify the best time when your energy level is high try to match it with the time slot of examination it is important to relax to tune up your body and mind you may follow simple relaxation techniques like pranayam yoga san stretching listening to light melodious music taking a walk of about 10 to 15 minutes at a suitable time or having a cup of green tea you can even spare some time for talking to your friends or parents maintain a cheerful mood and don't work in a frenzy wish you all the best anuj students did you enjoy the program a big round of applause from the audience this tells all i think it's time to conclude our program It's impossible to express our gratitude in words. However, I am indeed thankful to all the guests who made it convenient to spare time from their busy schedule. I'm sure that not only the students but parents also gained a lot. Hope we all remember the tips given by the experts and follow them as much as we can. Best wishes to all. Let's go through the difficult words you came across in this chapter and their respective meanings. on behalf of as a representative of counseling advising someone dietitian a person whose job is to advise people about what to eat for a good health query question dignitaries persons who have important positions dais a platform stage cherish feel attraction for approach draw closer stress a state of mental tension associate to be together academic of education interact to talk with other people communication an ability to retain things in mind proverb saying check your understanding of the story by going through the questions first define tuning up second what should kids do during exams third How does the food we eat affect studies? Students, now go through these answers and match them with yours. Now it's time for some grammar exercises. Change the given sentences to direct speech. First, did the mechanic fix your car? Second, you should do your homework. Third, don't talk so loudly. Fourth, they are painting their house. Now let's match the answers to the grammar exercises. First, was your car fixed by the mechanic? Second, your homework should be done by you. Third, intransitive verb talk. Fourth, their house is being painted. So that's it for today. Thank you class and I hope you all had fun learning